we've noticed with some clients, they have this gated content and they're like, we've got like 20 guys and we've got 10 case studies and we got all these white papers and they're all gated, but we're not getting anything in our pipeline. And I'm like, all right, well, let's ungate all that content, let it rank organically and you'll get slammed with your pipeline. Like you'd be shocked at how many people will start flowing into your pipeline. They're not getting anyone in their pipeline because the gated content is not ranking because it's hidden behind a gate and all the, there is is a landing page with a form. There's nothing for Google to hold on to, to offer any of that up to, to users. And that content's not going to compete organically because it's a commercial looking landing page. It's not what the user is looking for. So we found that actually flipping it on its head, publishing the content directly on the site. Now you're getting a ton of traffic. It's qualified traffic. And only like you said, to your point, only the high quality folks, the ones who are actually filling out the form really and getting it down with the PDF. Yeah. And we make our forms a little intense too. So if you want to get the PDF, I'm asking like, how many people are at your company? Are you a SaaS company or not? Are you, you know, stuff like that. So by the time a lead fills out that form, I'm like, we're going to do business with them in a month or two. I can almost promise you. So, 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 that, so that's another interesting point. You know, typically when we think about a landing page for lead magnet, you know, the, the, the general you know, consensus is as few forms as possible. So that you have, you know, the mm-hmm. highest conversion rate, but you're saying once you've yeah. kind of got the, this high intent, um, by the person who's, who's already at this point where they read the content, now they want a copy of it. You can ask a few more fields in there and get some more information out of them because we know they really, really want it at this stage. Exactly. And then what's cool to make it like one step, one step more fun, in my opinion, is that actually you've got the guide published on your site directly. Yep. You've got the call to action to download the guide, but that call to action, I think, should go to a landing page specifically meant for selling the guide, quote unquote, you know, like like promoting, just download the guide. You're going to get these chapters. It's going to tell you this. It's going to be good stuff. Fill out this form. Uh, now you take that landing page, come to somebody like you and say, hey, let's let's amplify this bad boy on Facebook and just get a bunch of, bunch of leads aimed at that. That's a match made in heaven, in my opinion. Now you've got one content asset that you put a lot of effort into uh, that, that only took your time. You really didn't have to pay anyone. If you know how to write about it, you could go hire an editor, have them edit it for you and clean it up. Get a few nice graphics and illustrations in it. Get that built, get it put on your site. Uh, link to it in the main navigation on your site so that Google can easily find it, users can easily find it. And now I'll go promote that thing on Facebook, promote it on LinkedIn and get some ads pointing at it, promote it on Instagram, get people downloading it. 